Hello friends, my name is Viren Singh. In this video tutorial, I am going to discuss about microbial kinetics, monad kinetics and yield concepts. This is the microbial growth kinetics. The growth occurs in log phase that is exponential phase. The gro what is growth? Growth is increase in the cell number. It follows first order kinetics as I explained you here mu g minus kd is greater than 0 that is mu net. Mu net is also denoted by the mu. What is order? Just I summarize you what is order. When the rate is directly proportional to the zero power of limiting substrate or limiting reagent, then this is zero order. When it is directly proportional to the one power of limiting nutrient, that is first order. When it is directly proportional to the two power of limiting nutrient, then it is second order of reaction. Here it follows the first order of reaction. What is rate? Rate is the change of biomass per unit time that is dx by dt is directly proportional to the biomass concentration. Obviously it is first order so x to power 1 eliminate this proportionality constant by mu that is specific growth rate constant. Integrate this equation by putting the limit x0 to x that is initial biomass concentration x0 and x is the final biomass concentration 0 and t. After integration you will get this equation ln x by x0 equal to mu into t. By taking nt log you will get this equation x by x0 e to power mu t. You can see here x is exponentially increasing. Here it is exponential function and it is exponentially increasing. So what is the doubling time? Doubling time is time in which the number of initial population doubles. That means x equal to 2x0 that is doubles of the initial population. Just put the value in the following equation. You know the equation from the group uh, microbial growth kinetics. Put the value of x here that is 2x0. You will get the ln2 here and manipulate this equation for the t that is doubling time ln2 by mu. That is 0 0.693 divided by mu. This is the graphical representation of microbial growth kinetic equation. Here you can see this is the exponential graph. If you draw the x versus t time graph, you will get this kind of graph that is exponentially increasing. And when you draw the ln x versus t, this is the linear graph. You can see it is y. This is c, y intercept. Mu is the slope and t is the x axis and you will get this straight line graph with the slope mu. Let's see the microbial death kinetics. Death occurs in decline, uh, death phase. Sorry here it is death phase. It also follows the first order kinetics. First order kinetics that is uh, rate is dependent upon the x. Mu z is 0 that is growth is 0 in the death phase that is mu net is equal to minus kd. Similarly here the rate is directly proportional to the x to power 1 that is first order kinetics just eliminate the proportionality constant by constant minus kd that is death rate constant the minus sign only denotes the number of cells decreasing with the increase in time like in microbial growth kinetics integrate the this equation and you will get this equation ln x naught ln x by x naught equal to minus kd into t if you want to eliminate this minus sign just reverse the ln value ln x naught by x and you will get x kd into t taking nt log x equal to x naught into e to power minus kd t you can plot the graph with these equations if you plot the graph x versus t you will get the exponentially decreasing curve and if you plot the gra graph between ln x versus t you will get the straight line with the negative slope that is kd. What is monod kinetics? It is similar to the michaelis menten equation in the enzyme kinetics. It describes the effect of substrate concentration on the rate of reaction on a specific growth rate constant. Monod derives this equation mu equal to mu max into s ks plus s. Here mu max is maximum specific growth rate. Ks is substrate specific constant and s is substrate. The unit of Ks and S is same. Just take the reciprocal of above equation like uh, LB equation for the enzyme kinetics. You will get this equation. This is a similar to the straight line equation Y Mx 
plus C. Let's see what will be the graph. If you plot the graph between mu specific growth rate constant versus substrate concentration, you will get this kind of hyperbolic graph. The substrate concentration at which the mu max is the half of maximum velocity. Mu is equal to half of maximum velocity is known as Ks that is monod constant. If you plot the graph between 1 upon mu and 1 upon s, you will get the straight line with the in y intercept 1 upon mu max and slope Ks upon mu max. Yield must be calculated with respect to some parameter. You have to define a standard or a parameter with respect to something you want to calculate the yield. Generally, substrate is taken as a parameter. Yield can be defined as biomass yield with respect to substrate product yield with respect to substrate, ATP yield with respect to substrate or biomass yield with respect to oxygen. This is the biomass yield with respect to substrate. That is biomass yield is y axis. y axis is change in the biomass concentration divided by change in the substrate concentration. That is xf minus x0. It is the change in biomass concentration. This is the final biomass concentration and this is initial biomass concentration. Similarly here SF minus S0 is the change in substrate concentration. But you know the substrate is in decreasing continuously during the growth of organism. That's why SF is less than S0 and you will get minus delta X upon delta S. For X maximum SF tends to zero that is final substrate concentration must be zero. That means all the substrate concentration is consumed by the microbes. Then x final tends to the x maximum. You manipulate this equation and you will get x maximum that is x0 plus y axis into s0. The second parameter is product yield. In product yield, you have to mention reference that is substrate. The product yield is denoted by YPS that is change in product concentration and change in a substrate concentration that is pf minus p naught divided by sf minus s naught and you will get this equation minus delta p into delta s like product yield or biomass yield that is atp yield with respect to substrate you will get y atp s that is minus delta atp divided by delta s for biomass yield with respect to oxygen here delta y x o2 minus delta x divided by delta o2 in the next video, I will be going to talk about the reaction kinetics in batch reactor, fed batch reactor, continuous reactor as well as in plug 4 reactor. So please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates. Thank you.